Good evening and welcome back to Astro Colony where all the pipes are in place and this took way longer than I'd like to admit. Um, um, yeah, I've had to wait an extremely long time or an extremely long time if I'm speaking the English correctly um, because uh, we have needed um, these pipes. How dare you. Yeah, you'd be in the wrong place pipe after all the effort I went through to build it. Um, uh, and uh, it requires, not those, uh, those, graphene. And we didn't have many graphene um, at all. So I actually have temporarily, um, I've removed that, but I put a second one of these in just next door to here and I was manually grabbing the uh, um, metal frames, hence where they're low, and the uh, carbon um, just to just to do it, just to have two of them running. I had three of them running at one point, just split in the load, trying to get as many as I could. But it's done now. Look, it is done. Everything is good. Everything is wonderful. Yay. So each one has its own pipe that leads all the way down to here, does a jiggery pokery dance, and then comes down here, and uh, then end up ends up in here. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna enable all of the inputs, and we're gonna see how many end up in here before the system turns off. Uh, remember, it will um, disable the request um, for things. So the, these are reading these here. So as soon as these get one in them, so this is reading carbon fiber, for instance. Let's go over to the carbon fiber, which is here. Um, as soon as that gets one of them, this gets turned off. This will be, this, this will be well, this this will be enabled. Well, sorry, this won't be enabled, which will stop it coming out. So then it goes down there. We've disabled the outputs to them, so they're getting as many in them. And then what we need to do is we need to figure out how many they're getting in, in them and come back and reset these here, which is currently set to one, to whatever the number is. Because that's how many, how long it takes for the items to get to the pipes. And if we want it running permanently, we have to switch that up to get it working. So, so if it has, say, 20 in it, and then it goes down to one, and then it starts to again. It's gonna take 20 consumptions of the um, carbon fiber before the first one gets there. So for 20 cycles in the science labs, it won't have any carbon fiber. So yeah, and this is approximate because the science labs don't run 100% all the time because the workers leave and join and yada yada. We could get some more uh, scientists so they're always running. That's an option, might do that, but for now we just need to do this so what i'm going to do is i'm literally going to grab a piece of and a piece of um go and do this bump, bump. oh i need to do this one as well oh oh that was a a quick stop there Ooh. ah okay so if i push space when i let go of shift you instant stop ah you don't slow down Mmm, nice, 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 nice. Don't know if everyone's going to remember that, but yeah. So, mm, damn you. Oh, at some point I have accidentally. It's fine. It's fine. I've accidentally flipped them over and I don't know where I did it. It could be done anywhere. This one's fine here. It must be in here. I must have dragged the mouse down as I was doing it, so. Uh, so let's see, let's see, are any of these missing good? So one, two, three, four, these are good. Uh, you've got nothing in you. Why have you got nothing in you? You... Ah, here we go, they're just... Taking their time to come down the lines. There they are. Okay, and what'll happen and it should have happened with the dirt or the copper or something already by now, I would have thought. Um, no? Hmm. Surely you've got one inside you by now. Oh, they're not reading the right things. I didn't change these up. Oh, the experiment has failed. The experiment has failed. Um, uh, blah. Um, Ah, nope, 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 nope. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. So we need to remove these again. I need to let this all empty. Right. Okay. Reset. Reset. Try again. 
Okay, so we have reset now. So now all of these are actually reading the correct thing. Before they were reading the, the old reading, so it would have turned this one off when it got enough polymer in it and it didn't have any polymer because it wasn't set to polymer, it's set to dirt. So now we can come along and add the belts again. Do, 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 do. and then we can let it all flow down see how much we get and um hopefully figure out the numbers we need just to keep the whole thing flowing correctly and there's the last of the polymer coming in so now everything is in here everything's been shut off at the source um so the distance in pipe is probably going to be however many meters this is here so 54 is that about right do we reckon i don't even know i'm not going to count it it's fine so um 54 this one's 38 this one's 41 it's interesting that one's hmm interesting that one's 34 i'm going to retest the first one this this seems wrong why would it go to 54 yeah this one's 38 I would expect them to all be going up slowly in numbers. This seems wrong. Let's take this out of here. Let's just, just double check this. Double check this. Let us do its thing again. You're not filling at all, so that's fine. So we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, no, I'm not counting it, but it, it's not as long as that one. So I don't know why it would have more f um, dirt in it than we'd have iron. That seems odd to me. The rest of them probably looks all right. But the dirt seems like it was a false number. So, so we come down. The first one goes in here. And that should shut off the, uh, the uh, dirt, which it has. So the dirt comes through. This is the last one on this here. I'll come there. I think that's going to be about right. It's going to be about 38 again, isn't it? No, it's more. Oh, this is 38. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. We haven't used faster belts for the input on this, have we, by mistake? Oh, I have. I have. Haven't I? Yes, that's the problem. That's the problem. That is a brown belt, and it should not be a brown belt. No, should not be a brown belt. So copy that there there we go i must have copied the wrong belt when i put this in okay so it is misreading it is actually misreading it is it is incorrect because it's getting more items out than it should be allowed to although that shouldn't really make any sense because the um maybe it does i mean it it, it probably does but anyway Let's go and write down the numbers we need to do things. So what I want to do is I want to set the um, the logic block at the end that says whether you're allowed to send to this number here, 243. If it's less than 243, we want to enable you. Yeah. Yeah. If it's less than 243, we want to enable you. So it will start sending the goods down. And as it sends the goods down and gets to here, um, then they'll be consumed and used. Now, it probably doesn't want to be that high. Um, so I might set it to half. I might set it to half the number is here. So let us do uh, the archaic writing implement of a pen and paper. Um, and I'm going to write this down. So 243, uh, 229. So this should all go down. 224. Um, based on the distance, it should. this should roughly be... But it's not the actual distance travelled because they are well longer than um uh see that's confusing auction is higher than uh gears so mm, we'll have to go and have a look at the auction as well might have used the wrong belt for that uh 41 38 and then this is now 55 it's still much higher than i expected it to be much higher than i expected it to be we're gonna go with it anyway um 
because that's a shorter distance. I expected that to turn off earlier than that. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm not sure why you're not turning off unless uh, this filter number isn't set to the correct number. This one is set to, no, it's set to one. How strange. I guess maybe dirt travels faster. I don't think that should be the case, but I don't know. I don't know. So, okay. But let's go have a look at the auction as well. Just to double check that something's not amiss with that. The auction should be here somewhere. Uh, not that one. That one. Nope. This is using normal belts as well. Uh, and it's set to one. The same as the other ones. 500. Um, some of these might actually be struggling. They might not actually be at 500. Um... They should all be at 500. That's 8,000. That's at 759. So they should, they should all be there. It is possible. No, you're definitely above that. Hmm. How strange. The numbers do not. They, they do not line up with the theory. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. So what we'll do instead is we will just take this here. Um, and we will go okay so this managed to get 55 into it so half of 55 is 27 so we're going to say if you're under 27 then uh boom, go and we'll do the same with this one here so this managed to get uh 38 so that's 19. and i'm going to set that for all of them going along uh so i'm just going to round down as well so that's 41, so that's 20. And I'll set this to all of them going along. And then we can re-enable our science. And then hopefully, get all the science done. Okay, so the science is go. And hopefully, this will work out and balance itself. Um, I do think these managed to get off whack on their ratios of things that were inside them. So like this has got nothing in it, and this has got... I don't know. Yeah, we'll have nothing in it, because I actually picked the both, both of them up. Um, when I was testing stuff, when I was when I was doing, oh, I'm gonna stop. I, I picked them up thinking I'll clog the belts up, and they went, no, I need to clog it up back there because this is uneven outputs. So, so yeah, but I will. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, but what should, should happen now is at some point we will see one of these things click back on again. There we go. Copper has clicked back on, and iron's clicked back on because it's got to half the point, which is awesome. Which should mean that if we go over to the copper and the iron, um, you um we'll get the goods in now i said it's a half rather than the full amount so it means it's not actually sending the goods till half them are done which means they could output all the goods to do that what i really need to do is set it so that we can figure out exactly how much is needed here to do things which we see also i don't know why that's actually running uh, because these are all set as well nah look at that okay i need to set all these up as well i keep making mistakes here okay now everything is correct and signed properly we have all the filters and all the bits and pieces all set to the correct things as they should be we don't need these pushes here but i'm just going to leave them because i can um so that's fine this is all working fine blah blah blah, blah. and i've reset these i've completely emptied the stuff and dumped all the stuff back in the chests it's fine everything's buffered everything's good let us enable the science everything is going to get clogged very very quickly which is understandable is absolutely understandable um there's no way i can balance this realistically um it just it just wouldn't work so we've just got to be very reliant on that the inputs and outputs will do their thing correctly so like you know um we're only reading this one laboratory anyway so if uh um you know this gets so many in it it will turn this off and then it'll turn that off and turn that off and eventually the belt should not be running all the time i hope <laughs> there is only two inputs on the back of these guys anyway so um so i could split this in two so we could have five going to one input and five going to the other input um if we wanted to that that's an option we can still do uh, but i don't think it really matters i think what's important is actually getting this thing working although i'm looking at it and i'm going it's not working so
Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, it's just, it's not. is that we have a shared center line two three four five yeah this line is shared so it would have to go either up or down but you see this this is turned off auction now we have enough auction so let's turn that off um, he says yes it has turned it off it hasn't run out it's turned off so it knows that this has enough oxygen in it for doing whatever it wants to do but it's waiting for carbon of course when it gets the carbon it's going to take a auction and then re-enable this one so I'm not entirely convinced this is um this is this is working very well. Uh one, two, three, four, five. So I want to split it here. So I want to take like this top line out and along and into the second one there, and then the bottom line wants to come out and along and into that one there. But I can't do that because I don't really have the space for it. Because I didn't think about that at the time. Um, oh no, there we go. So it's all, it's all done. It's all, it's all filled up. It's all doing its thing there. Blah blah blah. It's fine. Um, I'm not quite sure why the carbon fiber stopped. Have you just run out? No. Ah, ah. So when I said I'd done all the things, I said oh, no, I changed it, but I didn't get the ratios correct, did I? No, no, I did not. That might be why stuff's gone here. I am, for the third time this episode, messing this up completely. Right. Ratios set correctly. Belts split now. We have one, two, and three belts going to the top one. One, two, and three go into the second top one. And then we have two, three going to the bottom one, and then two going to the bottom. So the gun. I, I can't split the, the lower lines evenly because there's five belts. So, um, but it's all good. It's all good. The only issue we have is, um, like here for instance, if this line is blocked, this belt is blocked because it's in use, it can't let any auction out of that way, which is a bit of a problem because that means that the second science is getting more resources than the first one. But that could also happen vice versa if the other belt is busy. So I can't really do anything about that if I'm honest with you. Um, there's not much I can do about that at all. It's just how it goes. It does it does do this, it balances out, it lowers down, um, then it starts going again, and it seems to be a big heavy load, and then it comes down a bit, and I think over time it will balance itself out, um, because obviously the feeds won't come in at full speed. Um, like this will eventually run out of polymer before it sends any more, and stuff will slow down, and things will happen. It, it would eventually, it won't run at full speed, it won't run back out. There's no way I can do that, because you can't have that many inputs going into here at once. Um, you're only allowed two for a belt, so yep. Um, I just need to need to leave it. I need to leave it for a very, very long time because we need twenty-five thousand engineering science. We currently have four. We then need another twenty thousand there, so we need. 45,000, we have 4,100. Yeah, we need we need more. Um, this one is 3,000, we're close to that, so that'll be fine. Uh, then it wants another 2,000 there. No, nah, that's not so bad. Um, advanced cultivation uh, requires 2,000 and 3,000. We have that, we could do that right now. Uh, then this requires 3,000 and 1,000. Uh, so that's 5,000. Uh, we've only got almost 3,000 of the uh, biology science. Uh, a thousand of that one. We've almost got that, so we can we can do like, we can do this and then a little bit for that one. Uh, the heat detector we're almost done for as well, but then that needs another 2,000 there. And this one's 3,000 of the high tech science, which is a bit of a pain because of just how it goes. But it's fine. It's fine. We will eventually get there. See, this is. Uh, this, this doesn't work. Engineering is the only one that works without any scientists in it, so it's it's fine. The only other way I could possibly do this would be to have 
one, two, three, four, five science labs, and then have these feed one, these feed another, these feed, and, and do it that way. That's the only other way I can think of doing it. And having all the belts feed science labs, which means you then need, uh, it's up to three scientists, so you need 15 scientists, three times five, which isn't bad and isn't complicated to do. We've got plenty of food. Food is food food is not a problem we've only got one 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 robot moving stuff out of always he's he's struggling to keep up with the food so we could happily go for 15 scientists and do that but i'm 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 done messing about with this i think i'm just gonna let it sit and do its thing um and like leave it overnight because you can't die in this game because the turn option off so we can't die we haven't got over there power's going to be good these have got loads in there because these are um because the power when it lowers um we uh it balances the power so like these are running at a certain percentage and these are running at a certain percentage unfortunately you can't just say hey go on run on solo don't run on these um but um because these throttle that's the word i'm after uh they are not using one every six seconds in fact they're running uh at 37 percent load so they're using one every three minutes instead i remember this is set up to do um one a minute so yeah yeah, we are, even if the power does something dramatic and I don't even know what, these will kick in and we'll be going. Um, like, I don't know, the sun goes out, which doesn't happen ever in this game. So um, uh, I, I say, I say, oh, what if the sun went out? Oh, my days, right? The sun, looking at the shadows, should be about there. And I don't see it at all. So I don't know where the light's actually physically coming from. Um if we're stood in the shadow of this there the sun should be there in the sky and it's not so i don't know where the actual light's coming from i'm concerned about this uh this 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 place but hey ho um it doesn't matter it would be quite cool if uh they actually did that whole um uh not a day night cycle because you're in space it wouldn't make any sense to have a day night cycle but um you know you come to universe 3 it's dark solar panels don't work here Maybe I shouldn't give ideas for that. We need to get electric sheep going as well. So we need to do this here. That'll be next episode because this will be done now. We'll be able to get these here. Let's unlock advanced cultivation and let me click that one. So this can be this can be our next one that we're doing. So we need a thousand high tech science, uh, which we have 949 and 3000 biology, which we have 882. So that's going to take a little while to do. But I'll just leave this running. We'll see how it goes and we'll take it from there. I have no idea how long this episode is because I've put so many different cuts in it where I've stopped doing things and doing stuff. So I have no idea how long it's going to be. So um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Simple as that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope you'll get the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>